When a patient decides to have surgery, they're typically wanting to do it because they want to be rid of the tumor. If you want to be rid of a tumor, the tumor's size and its location will help guide which treatments are available to you. So really there's three different approaches for lateral skull base surgery. Two of them have the potential for preserving hearing and one doesn't. The more hearing that's present, the more we have to work around the ear. We can accomplish that from above, middle foss approach, or from behind, the retrosigmoid approach. If there was a little or no hearing, or hearing that would likely not be preserved, would be a translabyrinthine approach. If we do everything we can and do a great job, the patient can be healed. Uh, they don't have to worry about this, this tumor anymore, and they can carry on with their lives, and this will become a distant memory for them. Typically for a lateral skull-based tumor, it's a like six to eight hour surgery, and that's typically dependent on the size of the tumor. So when they show up to pre-op, they get a whole you know set of vitals, they see the pre-op nurses, they see anesthesia, they see their surgeon. Once all the check marks are in place and the OR is ready, the patient will be rolled back to the OR. Here at Duke we use a team approach which is always made up of a otolaryngologist or ear, nose, and throat surgeon and a neurosurgeon. The role of the ear, nose, and throat surgeon is typically to do the approach portion. The neurosurgeon's involvement is often to come in and actually uh, remove the tumor, dissect the tumor away from uh, important nerve structures as well as from the brain itself. The nerves that, that help move the eye, the nerves that allow you to feel your face, move your face, chew food, taste food, hear, all of those are packed into a very small space. To, to treat a tumor in this area, you need to be able to work very delicately and precisely around some very sensitive uh, neurological and vascular structures. The ENT surgeon would close everything up and they would be done. And then they go to the neuro ICU. They are then moved to the step-down unit, usually the next day. Usually after the, the fifth day, they're able to go home and they're able to do basic care for themselves. It is like a six to eight week recovery process. Being a skilled surgeon isn't the whole picture. It's, it's the whole team that really makes Duke different. How likely are you to not need to have a second operation after you've had your tumor removed? How likely are you to be able to smile and close your eye and carry on eating food or hearing if hearing preservation was, was attempted for you? And in all of these areas, uh, we have statistics that put us at the forefront of, of, of the field. It's extremely rewarding to be able to uh, help these patients get them through this process and help them to try to uh, preserve the, the quality of life that they are used to.